English for Iraq, 6th Primary, by Sarah McBurney. Copyright Garnet Publishing Limited, 2018. Welcome, pupils. How are you today? I'm very glad to meet you. Today, I'm going to explain Lesson 1 of Unit 3 in your uh, uh, pupils' book, pages 38 and 39. In this lesson, we will learn uh, some new words uh, about uh, some ailments or diseases and how to ask about the health by using how are you today. إذن في هذا الدرس سوف نتعلم مفردات عن بعض الأمراض وكيف نسأل عن صحة الشخص باستخدام how are you today كيف حالك اليوم so how as you know it's the WH question if it comes alone it means كيف and we say are you because the subject pronoun is you so we should say are today تعني اليوم and put question mark at the end so how are you today كيف حالك اليوم uh, what can you see in this picture in the middle part of uh, this page? We can see uh, uh, Dania and Wissam. Also, we can see uh, Hiba and Batim. Uh, they are at the school. So we have two conversations between Dania and Wissam, Hiba and Batim. They are talking about their health and what are some problems with them. So we should listen to track 33. Listen, look, and say. Then we should read the uh, conversations between them. Now listen to track 33. Track 33. Listen, look, and say. Hi, Wassam. How are you today? Hi. I'm fine, thanks. What about you? I'm very well, thanks. Hello, Basim. How are you? I don't feel well. I'm going home now. I'm sorry. What's the matter? I feel hot and I have a headache. Yes. Yeah. So as you see in, uh, in this picture, uh, they are asking about the health. Let me just focus on uh, the conversation. Yes. Dania said, asked Wissam about his health. She said, hi, Wissam. مرحبا وسام. How are you today? كيف حالك اليوم? He answered, Hi, I'm fine. أنا بخير. Thanks. شكرا. What about you? ماذا عنك? What about you? She said, I'm very well. أنا جدا بخير. Thanks. شكرا. But if we come to the conversation between uh, Hiba and Basim, we we will see that Basim is not good. Uh, he feels sick or he, he, has, um, he has a headache. So the conversation between Hiba and Basim is, Hello Basim, how are you? Hiba asked him. سألته, Hello, marhaban Basim, how are you? كيف حالك? He said, I don't feel well. أنا لا أشعر بخير. I'm going home now. أنا أذهب إلى البيت الآن. And also focus here. I'm going home now. This is the present continuous. Am with verb with ing. We add ing to the verb. And also we have the adverb now. So this is the present continuous. So he said, I don't feel well. أنا لست بخير. I'm going home now. وأنا ذاهب إلى البيت الآن. She said, "I'm sorry." أنا آسفة. What's the matter? ما الأمر؟ ما خطبك? What's the matter? He said, "I feel hot." أنا أشعر بحرارة. And I have a headache. ولدي صداع أو ألم رأس. Look at headache. This is a new word. This is one of elements. هذه واحدة من الأمراض اللي راح ندرسها. Headache. It's a new word. So here we have two types of sentences. When you are okay or when your health is okay, so you should say, "I'm fine, thanks. I'm very well, thanks." But if you are not okay and you have a problem with you, such as a flu or hot, or a temperature, or a headache, or any disease. So you will say, I don't feel well. 
I feel hot and I have a headache. Or you can say, I don't feel well, I have a temperature. I'm not very well. So we have two types of answers. And you know, Emin al Ijaba, positive answers and negative answers. When, when you are okay, you will say, I'm fine, I'm very well. But if you are not okay and there is a problem with you, you will say, I don't feel well, I'm not very well. What's the matter? I feel hot and I have a headache. So if this is a conversation, it comes as match. Now on page 39, we come to what's the matter? What's the matter? Here what WH question is what is it means what's what's the matter malam so uh, how many pictures can you see in this on this page we have 10 pictures these pictures are elements or diseases that you should learn these new words لازم نتعلم هذه الكلمات الخاصه بالامراض in track 36 he say look listen and say انظر اصغي وقل. But at first, we should uh, come to practice uh, the second activity. He said, write the words next to the pictures. اكتب الكلمات بجانب الصور. إذا نحن راح نسمع track 34 at first. Uh, listen to track, listen to new words of elements and diseases. Then we will read them and translate the words. Track 36. Look. Listen and say. 1. A broken arm. 2. A cough. 3. A headache. 4. A temperature. 5. A toothache. 6. A stomach ache. Seven. A sore throat. Eight. Feels sick. Nine. A cold. Ten. A rash. Okay. Now, after we listen to track 36, we come to activity two, or the second activity. Write the words next to the pictures. اكتب الكلمات next to بجانب the pictures الصور. What are these words? First, we should read them, translate them, and then we should write these words next to the pictures. Just let me zoom. Now, a headache. A headache. We will see this word, ek. Ek, it means alam. Ek. And we should pronounce the edge as k, not ch. Pronounce c edge here as k, a headache. A headache, it means alamras, a headache. A broken arm, a broken arm. Arm, it means dira, broken, maksur. So a broken arm, yani dira, maksur. A broken arm, dira, maksura. A cuff, a cuff. Here, pronounce G-H as F, a cough, means su'al, or kaha, a cough, su'al. A toothic, a toothic, alam, sin, a tooth, tooth yani sin, well, uh, al plural teeth, ek, qanna alam, hadi mushtaraka, ek, alam, so a toothic yani alam, sin. A sore throat, a sore throat, yani halak multahib. أو حنجرة ملتهبة throat حنجرة sore ملتهب so a sore throat حنجرة ملتهبة أو we can say حلق ملتهب a temperature a temperature هي حرارة a temperature حرارة a stomach ache a stomach ache stomach معدة أيضا هوني c k c h ننطقه k stomach ache ألم معدة stomach ache we have feel sick يشعر بالمرض feel sick and we don't put a because feel is a verb 
a cold يعني نشلة أو برد a cold and then finally we have a rash a rash يعني طفح جلدي أو حتى أزية أو حكة a rash so now we should write these words beside or next to the pictures يجب أن نكتب هذه الكلمات بجانب الصور إذن first the first picture number one is a broken arm a broken arm as you see in this picture it's a broken arm in the Maksura. picture two is a cough a cough do you see somebody uh, a cough three we have a headache a headache number three picture three a headache picture four is a temperature a temperature on it you a temperature يعني حرارة. Picture five is a toothpick. A toothpick يعني ألم سن. A toothpick. Picture six we have a stomach ache. A stomach ache يعني ألم معدة. A stomach ache. Picture seven we have a sore throat. A sore throat يعني حنجرة ملتهبة أو حلق ملتهب. Picture uh, eight is Feel sick. Feel sick. يشعر بالمرض. Picture nine is a cold. A cold. And then finally picture ten is a rash. A rash. Picture ten is a rash. يعني طفح جلدي أو حتى تي إحنا نقول عليها. So we should now listen again to track thirty-six to make sure from the answers. Track thirty-six. Look. Listen and say. One. A broken arm. Two. A cough. Three. A headache. Four. A temperature. Five. A toothache. Six. A stomach ache. Seven. A sore throat. Eight. Feels sick. Nine. A cold. Ten. A rash. Okay, so let me pupils read again the words because they are maybe difficult or new words. So the first one is a headache. And we said C H here is pronounced K, not Ch. Be careful, a headache, a broken arm, a cough, and G H honey P, a cough, a toothache, a sore throat, halak multahakuna, a temperature, a harara, a stomach ache, alam maida, feel sick, yash or bilmarat, a cold, nishla overit, a rash. We should uh, study the spelling for these words. لازم تدرسون املاء هذه الكلمات لأن تجينا يعني كأحرف متقطعة بسؤال complete. Now, how are you today? Our lesson is how are you today? كيف حالك اليوم؟ المفردات الجديدة اللي تعلمناها بالدرس هي عندي hello تعني مرحبا hello مرحبا how are you? كيف حالك؟ how are you? I don't feel well. لا أشعر بأنني بخير. I don't feel well. Uh, طبعا be careful. There is difference between well بخير و well اللي هي W I double L ذيك سوف. There is difference between them. I'm fine, thanks. أنا بخير شكرا. What about you? ماذا عنك? What's the matter? ما خطبك أو ما الأمر? What's the matter? I'm very well. أنا بأحسن حال. I'm very well. Also, we have ailments or diseases. And the بعض الأمراض تعلمنا مفردات جديدة. We learn new words about ailments and diseases. We have a headache, ألم رأس. A broken arm, ذراع مكسور. A sore throat, حنجرة ملتهبة. A cough, تعني سؤال. Feel sick, يشعر بالمرض. A toothache, a lamsin, a temperature, harara, a temperature, 
a cold, برد, a rash, صفح جلدي أو حساسية, a stomach ache, اللي هي ألم معدة, a stomach ache, ألم معدة. إذا so uh, هذه قلنا المحادثة راح تجينا في سؤال الماتش أو التوصيل. If you say how are you today, you can answer with uh, positive answers or negative answers. If you are okay, you will say I'm very well. I'm fine, thanks. If you will have a problem, you will say I don't feel well. I have a headache or I have a rash. I have a cold or any one of the diseases or ailments. هذه راح تجينا في سؤال التوصيل. يحط لي السؤال How are you today? في جانب الأول أو العمود الأول من الماتش ويحط الإجابة في في الجانب الآخر من الماتش. أما إذا هذا يعني إذا كانت العبارة What's the matter? ما الأمر? What's the matter? So that means there is a problem with you, with your health. You say I'm not very well. أنا لست بخير. Or you can say I don't feel well. أنا لست بخير أو لا أشعر بخير. I have a toothache. لدي ألم سن. Or any one of the diseases or ailments. I have a cold. I have a rash. إذا هذا أعزائي التلاميذ راح تجيني هذه العبارات في سؤال الماتش. أما تكون إيجابية الأجوبة أو تكون هوني نيجاتيف if there is any problem with your health. إذا كان درسنا لهذا اليوم هو lesson one of unit three. أعزائي التلاميذ أطلب منكم أن تحفظون أسماء الأمراض والسيزيز اللي وردت عندي على الرغم إنه maybe it is difficult. But I think you will practice to read them with yourself at home and then study the spelling for these words. Can't uh, Thanks for your listening and have a nice time.